530, our first look inside the Roxbury Community Center, which is now a shelter for migrants and the homeless. And we're getting a sense of what it's like to live there. I'm Paula Evan. And I'm David Wade. Chris is off tonight. When the shelter opened weeks ago, WBZ's Beth Romano asked for the chance to speak with the family living inside. Well, she got that opportunity today. They gave us the pillows, the blankets. It's a new home for Keisha Barboza and her three children. One she knows is temporary but also necessary. She speaks through a translator. We had a children. She felt nervous and she was like, it's difficult, right? But then she also said that she will have done the impossible to make sure that her children will have a place to live. She came to the United States from Puerto Rico with her 10-year-old daughter, Keisha Liaris, and two young sons in January. When housing with a cousin became too crowded, she learned of space here at the Melnia Cass Recreational Complex. And just able to like experience this as if we had like our own housing, even if we are all sharing it together. And they are in tight quarters, though there are curfews and shared meals in this makeshift cafeteria. The center opened three weeks ago to help migrant families, but there are U.S. citizens here as well, like Keisha, who wants a better education and health care for her children and a job running her own cleaning service. A lot of the people who come here to the United States is not because, oh, I'm just going to take the help from the government. It's because they want to have a better life than they had before. 312 people in including 96 families are now being housed here, a number that fluctuates with the idea that it is not long-term housing, but a transitional opportunity. Moving them into self-sufficiency, providing them the resources uh, for them to get to know their new environment. Keisha has seen some protests and opposition to the rec center being converted to housing and believes it's a misconception. La the space, it's being used for a greater purpose of just like housing all of the families that are here right now. So for her, it's really like difficult to to understand, right? Like the protests that are happening. She has books and a journal, she says, for her daughter, Keish Liaris, now attending a Boston public school who has her own goals. What does she hope happens after this? So she wants a home. But for now, they say they only want a chance, a sentiment shared in this shared space. In Roxbury, Beth Germano, WBZ News.